Hello, everybody. God bless you. I just wanted to jump on for a few minutes in the church, kind of doing a little bit of cleaning, watering the plants, and you name it. Um, I'm a servant, servant at its best. I mean, I don't mind doing a thing. Everything I do at home, I can do it at the church. Amen. So I bless God on today. But I want to talk to the people that you're getting frustrated. You're getting frustrated with others. You're getting frustrated with uh, everybody around you because you think that people don't see you or they can't recognize who you are. And many times people cannot. So you got to be okay with that. You got to be okay with that. And you got to be okay with the Lord hiding you. So people can't see who you really are. Because what I found out many times when God is hiding you, he's hiding you from the very thing that somebody else will connect to you and want to take ownership of. <laughs> but it belongs to God because we are God's children. And, and, and what God, what he invests in us is for him to be glorified. Amen. And so what I want to share with you, sweet babies, is to, to stay still until God bring you forth. Stay in the back until he get ready but th there's some work that you have to do while while you're waiting for God to um, elevate you and there are some things that you're going to go through um, until you go to the next level but this is what I want to tell you be glad that God have not opened people's eyes to see who you are and one thing I, 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 I do understand and I want to share with somebody is that when God hides you he hides you well mm -hmm. my God he hides you well. Amen. So you're wanting people to recognize who you are and you want people to validate who you are, but they will not see who you are until God opened their eyes to see who you are. God has to reveal to others who you really are. Even those that follow you, those that's in your circle or your square or however, whatever. Let me tell you something. Yeah, let him hide you and blind them until he reveal to the ones that you want to see you who you really are. Until then, don't get frustrated. Don't get upset. Don't get bothered. Amen. God will reveal you to the world to the people around you when it's his time. Until then, stop trying to make people see who you are. Stop trying to make everybody accept you. As a matter of fact, stop even trying to bully people to do what you want them to do when you, we cannot bully people into doing anything. So we have to be so, so mindful of that. God will open their eyes and show them who you are when it's time. Amen. And so I just wanted to encourage you, especially the young people, stay in the back until God bring you forth. Stay in your place. Stay seated. Stay seated until God get ready to bring you forth. And by all means, you don't have to make nobody accept who you are, believe who you are in God. He'll do that. He'll do all that. He, he'll do all the behind the scenes stuff and he will keep you and maintain you when he bring you forth. Amen. So we have to understand that what's upon our lives and what God has invested in us is for him to be glorified. And so take a seat. Be patient. The Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. Amen. Don't move out of God's timing. You'll show sure enough mess things up. So allow God to close the eyes of the people that are right in front of you and don't know who you are. It's okay. He will open their eyes for them to see who you are when he gets ready. And it's going to be in his time. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. God bless.